In this video, you're going to learn this striking invert wipe effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This can work on text or video clips. So I'm going to begin just with a blank text file. So I will just grab my type tool and type out on my program window any word I want. For those wondering, in the Essential Graphics panel, you can adjust everything about it. And the name of this font is right here. So to quickly center this, I'll just click these uh, center buttons in the Align and Transform section. And the next thing I want to do is go to my Project Media panel. And if you don't see any of these windows, you can always go to Window. Uh, I'm working in the All Panels workspace, but you can open any panel individually. And in this panel highlighted, I'm going to go to File, New, and I'll choose Color Matte. So you can technically do this with a few different colors and styles, but I'm just going to use a solid white color matte so we just get a pure inversion. So I'll push, press OK. It'll create this new white color matte, and I can drag that onto a track on top of everything in my project. So this is just a white block and what I'm going to do is use blending modes to set this block to a blending mode of difference. So this is basically going to invert whatever's underneath. And now, so like if I drag a video underneath just to show you, this is the original video clip and this is the inverted clip. It's the same as if I would apply an invert effect from the effects folder. So keep that in mind. Uh, a little detour, the invert effect actually has not only just the regular invert, but you can also invert not just the red, green, blue channels, but the hue or just the blue channel or other things like that. So that's a cool effect too. I have tutorials about that on my channel and you can use it in combination here. Another trick is to set these to black and white if you don't want the funky colors. And this can look cool with just a pure black and white inversion. But to continue, what I'll do to create the animation is a simple linear wipe. So I'll search for the linear wipe in the transition video effects folder. I'll click and add that on here. And in my effect controls panel, I have the linear wipe, the transition completeness. That's how complete it is. And you can see we're just going to animate this. And you also have the wipe angle. So if you don't just want 90 degrees, the cool thing is you can do any, I guess you could just do a circular effect like that too. But I'll click this reset button here and I will start at the beginning of my clip. I'll begin at zero or 100, whatever you want. And I'll move forward a little bit and I'll set it to 100%. Now, before you think the tutorial's done and that's it, one pro tip that's gonna make your animations look a lot better that you can take from this tutorial to, to anything when it comes to keyframes is drop down the transition completeness with this little drop down arrow. You can open up the keyframe velocity. Now I'm going to zoom in here. This panel can get a little bit finicky, but if I highlight any keyframe, I get these little uh, handles I can pull on, and I'm just going to ramp the keyframe a little bit. So I'm adding some velocity. So it starts slow and then quickly finishes, and this is going to make your animations look a lot more professional. So maybe that's a bit much, but you can tweak it. Uh, but if you see play, it starts slow and then whoosh. It gives it a nice feel in my opinion. You can also try things like just right clicking and ease in or ease out for some really basic forms of velocity. But that I think is a nice touch. Or you can also use this with video clips underneath to get whatever looks you want like that. And also you can play around with the uh, linear wipe angle. So don't forget, it doesn't have to just be 90 degrees. It can be whatever kind of wipe you want. And you could play around with different colors. Now, if you used a different color than white, you're just going to get an inversion of that color. So if you wanted to play around with different colors, you can see what that looks like. I like sticking with the simple black and white. You can't really go wrong, but feel free to experiment with these basic instructions that I've given you. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out hundreds of more on the playlist on my channel. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram for some short tips and tricks as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.